Hey guys, welcome to week seven. Um, this is the end of my deload week, so I'm just about to start my deload deadlifts. So it's going to be three sets of 10 at 225. Really nothing special this week. So first set of deadlifts down, nothing too crazy there. So quickly I'm gonna do a weekly recap. So like I mentioned earlier, this week's been my deload week, which for those of you that don't know, that's gonna be the topic of this video. We're gonna talk about everything that is a deload week. So recap here. Um, so instead of working out five times this week, I only worked out three times. I took Saturday as an extra rest day and I'll take tomorrow as an extra rest day on top of my two rest days already that I take on Friday and Monday. So on Sunday, I did three by 10 squats at 185. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday, I did three by 10 bench press at 95 pounds. And today, my last deload workout of yeah, three by 10 at 225 for deadlifts. So the purpose of a deload week is to help you recover from accumulated fatigue. What is accumulated fatigue, you might ask? So think of this as your total battery, the total amount of weight you can lift in a workout. Every week you do a hard work, you do hard workouts, that battery, your ability to lift those heavy weights goes down by a little bit. And then by the time you're at the end of a really hard training cycle, you've gotten that battery down pretty low because you've maxed out your accumulated fatigue. You've worked super, super hard every single week. So when you take a deload week, it gives you extra time to recover so you can recover that battery and be ready for the next training block. Well, there's several ways to do a deload week. One, you can not work out at all, um, which is good. It'll help with recovery. If you're not doing workouts, you have nothing to recover from. Now, the, another way you can do it is you can give your body a different type of stimulus than you're used to. So instead of doing volume work, you can do some heavier singles. Um, I wouldn't get too heavy though, because you don't want to have to actually recover from anything that's going to hold you back in your next training cycle. Or you can do light workouts like I'm doing myself. So I prefer to do really light workouts because it's shown that um, doing workouts and getting blood flow through the muscles will actually help them recover a little bit as long as you don't actually push yourself to the point where you create more or new fatigue, which, why, which is why you'll notice that my deadlifts and all the rest of my lifts were at under 40% of my working max. is because that's enough weight that I can get some blood moving. It's essentially like a warm-up set, but it's not enough to actually um, do create any more accumulated fatigue. So part of that too is you also want to lower your volume. So I was used to doing sets of six by 10 or five by eights um, each week. And then this week was only three sets of 10. So not only is my weight lower, my actual total amount of work I'm doing is lower and I'm taking some extra rest days. So I'm just doing enough to warm up the muscles, get some extra blood flow through them, help them recover a little bit, but not and not doing enough to actually damage the muscles at all. So, assuming you're taking deload weeks when you need to be taking deload weeks, you're working out at respectable training volume that you can recover from, you're eating enough protein, you're sleeping enough, um, some other aspects that can affect recovery are stress and managing your stress. So, just know that your body treats all stress the same, whether it be mental stress or whether it be physical stress of training. So if you're really stressed at work, if you're really stressed with your home life, your family life, you might find you're not recovering um, as well either. So trying to do stuff for stress management will also help. Um, other things that I find help with recovery is hot baths. Um, I'm not sure if they just help with blood flow or if they help me de-stress or what it is, but I find that if I take a nice hot bath, it'll help me with recovery. And then other aspects would be mobility, foam rolling, massage, some of the stuff you saw Marco working on with me, I'm not sure if that's necessarily uh, de-stressing me because um, it's pretty painful, but I do find that, you know, whether it helped with blood flow, whether it helped, you know, unrestrict fascia or whatever it might be, 
I find that some foam rolling and some mobility drills, some stretching, and some you know, massage therapy, recovery type stuff will help me recover from my workouts a little bit faster. Like, subscribe, and tune in next week to watch me lift some heavy weights in my first week of strength vlog.